Hi everyone, welcome to CHM 304 and 403 Electrochemistry Workshop Lecture 1 which is on the electrode kinetics with a focus on the butler volmer equation. After the lecture I expect you to be able to solve simple over potential numerical questions. I expect you to be able to use the butler volmer equation to solve problems on activation, polarization or over potential. The first question says at 25 degrees C, the current density and the transfer coefficient of hydrogen in dilution on platinum are 0.84 milliamperes per centimeter squared and 0.5 respectively. What would be the exchange current density at the following activation of our potentials? Negative 1 millivolts, negative 100 millivolts, and 0.18 volts. Tips. When the absolute value of the overpotential is less than 0.01 volt, the low overpotential limit of the Bottler-Volmer equation applies, which is this equation. When the absolute value of the overpotential ranges from 0.01 to 0.1, then the complete form of the butler volmer equation applies. However, when the absolute value is greater than 0.1, the TAFO approximation applies. For the TAFO approximation, when over potential is positive, the process is anodic, and this form of the expression applies. When the over potential is negative, then the process is, is cathodic, and this form of the equation applies. The symbols in these equations stand for J, the current density, J naught, the exchange current density, R gas constant, T temperature, F Faraday's constant, eta over potential Z number of electrons transferred. The first question, the A part of the question 1, says we should find the exchange current density, J0, at an activation of a potential of negative 1 millivolt. At this of a potential, negative 1 millivolt, which we can write in terms of volt, as negative 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3, the absolute value of the over potential is less than 0.01. Therefore, the law of a potential limit of the butler volmer equation applies. On the basis of this equation, J0 can be made the subject of the formula in this manner. The current density is 0.84 milliamperes per centimeter squared. The gas constant R is 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin. The temperature is 25 degrees C, which is 298.15 Kelvin. Uh, as the Faraday's constant is 96,500 coulombs per mole. For hydrogen to evolve, two hydrogen atoms, ions rather, must be reduced to combine to form a hydrogen molecule. And that process involves two electrons. Therefore, the number of electrons transferred Z is equal to two. J0 is equal to this expression. So if we substitute values for J, R, T, Z, F, and eta, into this expression, we obtain this. This is the value for J, the current density, this is R, the gas constant, this is T, the temperature, and this is the number of electrons transferred, this is Faraday's constant, and this is the over potential. This expression can be evaluated to obtain J0 as negative 10.8 milliamperes per centimeter squared. The next Part of the question says we should find the exchange current density J0 
at an activation of a potential of negative 100 millivolts. At this of a potential which we can change to volts, um, 0.10 volt. The over potential absolute value is greater than 0.01. Therefore, the complete form of the butler vomer equation applies. Uh, the same thing follows. J is equal to 0.84 milliamperes per centimeter squared. The gas constant 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin. The temperature T 25 degrees C 298.15 Kelvin. Then the Faraday's constant 96,500 coulombs per mole. On that basis, J naught can be made the subject of the formula. So that this bit of the formula the substitute values in and evaluate to obtain this value 0 0.0204 and then this bit of the expression will also substitute values to obtain 49.057 and we put all of these values together this is the current density this is the value for this bit of the expression which is that that's it there this is the value for this bit of the expression, which is this. So we substitute them. We evaluate to obtain negative 0.017 milliamperes per centimeter squared. The next question says we should find the exchange current density at an activation of a potential of 0.18 volts. At this value, the absolute value is greater than 0 0.1 volt. And therefore, we use the complete form of the butler volmer equation, but then approximate it using TAFO approximation, which is based on the fact that at this high of a potential limit, this bit of the equation is significantly large, while this bit is very small. So we ignore this bit of the expression. That leads to this expression, which is basically this bit of the equation. J is equal to this, R is equal to that, T is equal to that, F equal to that, like in the previous cases. We make J not the subject of the formula and substitute the values uh, from the data. When we do that, this is the, exchange, the current density this is the transfer coefficient. This is number of electrons transfer. This is Faraday's constant. This is the over potential. This is the gas constant. This is the temperature in Kelvin. We evaluate this expression to obtain the current density, exchange current density J naught at 0 0.76 microamperes per centimeter squared. Question two says at 25 degrees C in an exchange current density of 0.79 milliamperes per centimeter squared. Calculate the effective resistance across a platinum electrode whose surface area is 2 centimeters squared if the overpotential is 0.1 millivolt. The data we've been given is J0, which is the exchange current density, 0.79 milliamperes per centimeter squared which is equal to 9, 7.9 times 10 to the power of negative 4 amperes per centimeter squared. Our temperature is 25 degrees C, uh, which can be changed to Kelvin, 298.15 Kelvin. Uh, this is the over potential eta, 0.1 millivolt, which we can change to volt as 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 volt. The area of the electrode is 2 cm squared. The gas constant R is 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin. The Faraday's constant F 96,500 coulombs per mole. What we basically need is the current, but we can find current without the current density. So the current density at the electrode, we don't know. 
So if we assume that the electrode of B Ohm's law, the effective resistance R sub E will be equal to V all over I, where V is the voltage across the electrode and I is the current. In this case, eta V uh, represents the overpotential, and the current can be obtained by multiplying the current density by the area of the electrode. Because the absolute value of the overpotential is less than 0 0.01 volt, then the low overpotential limit of the butler volmer equation applies. That gives J to be equal to this expression. We substitute the expression in here for J. And bearing in mind that the electrode reaction involves the transfer of two electrons because two hydrogen ions um, will be reduced to form hydrogen molecule. When we substitute that value, we substitute the expression for J in here, we obtain this expression. There is eta here, there is eta there. We cancel them out, leaving us with this expression. Uh, where R is the gas constant, T is the temperature, J0 is the exchange current density, Z, number of electrons transferred, F, Faraday's constant in A, the surface area of the electrode. On that basis, we substitute values for these symbols. This is the value for the gas constant, this is the temperature, this is the current, uh, exchange current density, this is the number of electrons transferred, this is Faraday's constant, and this is the area. Uh, 